Hey, 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 kids, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We're just two girls just being bros on YouTube. Honestly, if you're wondering what's going on right now, you can see Roxanne, you can see Vic, but they're not together. Well, mm -hmm. it's because we're on a phone call. And I'm in my kitchen. So, something bad's about to happen if Victory's <laughs> in her kitchen. Today, Roxanne is going to be watching a Gordon Ramsay cooking tutorial of some sort at her house. And she has to feed me the instructions to cook it. I am basically going in blind. I'm not watching the video. I have no idea what I'm baking or cooking. And I just have to rely and trust my trusty partner, Roxanne. And I don't get to see what she's doing, so I have to trust that this girl can listen to my instructions and do them flawlessly. Yeah. So this is uh, gonna be interesting. It's either gonna go really well or really bad, but um, stay tuned to find out. I guess nothing left to say other than let's get into it. So I've already picked the recipe for Victory. Um, so I want to pick something that Victory has a shot at, you know? So obviously no spaghetti involved. Not spaghetti is also definitely Don't think I trust Victory to cook me some meat. What if we just did like a nice pancake? What about a nice, what if we did like a dessert? Sign, I freaking love Gordon Ramsay, oh my gosh. What if I made her make me a breakfast sandwich? Here's a Valentine's Day dessert. A delicious pavlova with a raspberry curd and chocolate dipped strawberries. I might be interested in eating this. This way, <laughs> Victory can't poison me with some sort of meat disease. Okay. I think we may have found one. So she's gonna be making a pavlova for two with raspberry curd. I feel like this is such a technical dish that um, she's gonna mess up, but she did win baked. So let's find out if she really is the dessert master. But okay, Victor, are you ready to hear what the recipe is? Yes, I'm ready to hear what the recipe is. <laughs> Take a guess. I have to go check. Um, the ingredient list to see what I had at home and then go buy what else I had. Um, and I could obviously tell it was some kind of dessert. Um, but mm -hmm. I have absolutely no clue what it is because there's no flour, no baking soda, like nothing like that. And I'm just basically just eggs and fruit. So <laughs> I don't know, like a tasty <laughs> dessert quiche. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the best part is I don't really know what this is. Mm -hmm. So it's called a pavlova for two with raspberry curd. So I think what we're making is a pavlova. Oh. I, it, I, it kind of looks like a like a like a pudding, but okay. but I think it's a cooked pudding. Okay. So slash like a meringue, I think. Okay. Okay. I've heard but, that word before. Um, do I know yeah. what it means? Not really, but um, it's gonna be a fun. I've never heard it before. I am the big champion, so this should be a breeze for me, you know. Yeah, I, the keyword once, should. I never once struggled in the kitchen. It's burnt! That's what smells so good. It's like I'm a master. Oh my god. <laughs> never. Are you ready to begin? Yep. Oh wait, let's... okay. So the thing is, guys, so there, the YouTube video is only two minutes and 25 seconds. But if the video is just like a time lapse, then obviously I can't do it, but yeah. we'll, we'll run with it. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees, okay? Now you have to, so you have to mix the cornstarch, vinegar, and vanilla in a small bowl. You have to tell me the, the measurements again. Well, I have, <laughs> gosh, gotta do everything around here, okay. Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. So you need, let's get half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Uh, half a teaspoon of distilled white vinegar. Oh, I hate vinegar. Can we skip this? No. Oh, I don't want to. It's half a teaspoon. I hate vinegar. Like, vinegar is absolutely disgusting. Now my whole kitchen's gonna smell like, can we skip it? <laughs> no! <laughs> well, okay. I can breathe. Could you, next time, can you pick a recipe without vinegar? Please? No, absolutely not. And I should have pre opened everything. Holy smokes, how do you open this? You're struggling to open cornstarch? Yes. Do you have hands? Like, I'm so confused. Oh, almost did half a tablespoon there. Half a teaspoon. Oh my gosh. When they said like small bowl, they mean like a really small bowl? Yeah. Like a teeny, oh, teeny I little. Used my... <laughs> I used the little 
little bit. I used a big small bowl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Set my big small bowls, making it really hard to mix. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't believe you're making me use vinegar. I'm so upset. You know what? Maybe I'll just hang up the call right now and walk away from all of this. So now, in a clean bowl, add the one single egg white. If I eat a single egg peel, egg shell piece in my pavlova, done. We're evoking your, your baked title. Now you have to put one quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. A quarter liter? Is that the same thing? No. There's no quarter cup of my measuring cup. <laughs> well. Is it half it's half, half of a half, yeah. Okay. You gonna like eyeball it? Oh my yeah. gosh. You eyeball it. You have bad eyesight. Don't worry, I'll get it right. And a little sugar, more sugar than usual on her, right? Thanks. It's about, I have 100 grams. Yeah, the no, quarter wait. cup is not missing. The quarter cup is missing. I got stitches in a quarter liter, okay? No. It's, it's the first tick you ate. <laughs> Is it 50 milliliters yeah, look or 100 milliliters? Maybe look at the cups. Sir, what are you talking? Why are you? What are you doing? Okay. The quarter cup. I'm stuck on the quarter cup. Quarter cup. It's 50 grams. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Done. Victory. This, this, this pavlova. The way it yeah. cooks. So it cooks for one hour and 50 minutes, but then you have to turn off the oven and leave it in there for another three hours. Oh no. <laughs> So now you have to uh, use a hand mixer with the whisk attachment. That's really um, bold of you to assume I have a hand mixer. You do. We I used it. We used it in in cook baked. That was um, nauseous. But um, <laughs> anyways, I have a beautiful. I have something similar of the sort. It's not exactly a hand mixer, but we're gonna make it work, okay? Uh, oh, so what is it? I don't know what this thing is. It's oh, like is it a hand blender? I think so. We're, so I just mix it, right? What do I mix it until? Uh, until combined. <laughs> it sounds so bad. <laughs> okay, I think it's mixed. Okay, so then it says until combined, less than one, and then it says increase the speed to medium high and whisk okay. until soft peaks form, which should take approximately two to three minutes. So you have to keep soft. whisking. Soft yeah. peaks. Soft peak? Soft peaks. Like That's what that means. Have you been Oh no. No, soft peaks. So like when you lift the thing, it kinda has like that swoosh on top. I also feel like every bowl I use has been too big for the job. <laughs> the blender is like it's like I'm at a raid. Like the it's like electronic yeah. music, you know? It's literally not making a difference. It's just as liquidy as it was before. We have to keep. Do you have a high setting on that thing? Yeah, it's on my speed right now. Okay. Well, it's fine. You have to keep whisking. So. Which should take approximately two to three minutes. Okay, I, I transferred to a smaller bowl um, to see if that will help my issue. It's literally still just as liquidy, maybe a little thicker. Half of it's on me. Um, more so in the bowl, um, and then I'm starting to realize how much I hate baking and why I regret doing it every time I go to bake because I have zero patience. <laughs> well, you, if you had a hand mixer, it, it wouldn't take this long. Yeah. So how I do you just, bake? How do you ever physically bake without a hand mixer? You just mix it with your hand, or you use this thing. I, but I don't make like meringues often, ever. But anything, whenever you have to blend stuff, it's just so much easier with a hand mixer. Yeah, <laughs> we like a challenge here. It's still like, ordered very extremely liquidy. And I've been like mixing for like, what, 10 minutes now? This is so stressful for me because I can't help you at all. Is it getting any better? I don't know what soft peak mean, but if it, like some attaches to my blender and I lift it up and it drips like it's milk, is that what that means? Not like milk, no. It should be thicker than milk. Alright, so I guess I'll go in for another two minutes and I'll probably lost half of it on my clothes. So I don't know what you're doing that you're ending up with it on your clothes? Like it's bubbling, but like nothing's happening. Why won't my eggs whisk? Still is like milk. How's that? That's not physically possible. Anyone 
Are you seriously still mixing it? Have you not stopped? No. It is still like milk. I don't know what to do. Okay, I don't know why that's happening. Okay, I guess you can try to add the the cornstarch now then and then keep mixing. So it says add add the cornstarch mix and food coloring. How much cornstarch? No, that that it's the stuff that we made earlier. Oh. I don't think we're gonna, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I mean, we might not even have a pavlova at the end of this. We might just have freaking a raspberry curd and chocolate covered strawberries. Would it, would it work if I threw it in a blender or a magic bullet? Mm, that won't help more than a hand blender, no. Did you. Are the eggs cold? Yeah. Oh, well, it's gonna take. It's apparently egg whites that are room temperature whip more efficiently than those that are chilled. Should I pop this in the microwave? No. That would cook them. Okay, as I just made my egg whites a warm bath. <laughs> self care. It's, it's, it's self care day for the eggs. Ah! Oh, what did you man. do? Half of it landed on my sweater. Don't worry about it. You keep. You need to keep the ingredients in the bowl. I don't know. I don't know what to do then. I'm so tempted to go into my kitchen and try to blend out an egg because I just don't believe that I, I it don't isn't working. Okay, we're gonna put this, you know, we can come back to that maybe. Like, no, no. <laughs> we can't. What are you saying? We're gonna come back to it. It has to cook for three hours. Should I try it for like two minutes? See if it makes any progress other than the freaking liquid milk it is? Yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to hand whisk this for five minutes. Stay tuned. If not, we're chucking it. Guys, I'm making more progress hand mixing than the technology. Who needs technology these days, am I right? When you got your bare hands. <laughs> Yo, it's <gasps> Roxanne, it's not like milk. It's getting there, it's still, it's still. Oh my god, guys, guys, this is it's like cool, it's like oh my god, it's Oh my god, it's pro It's basically progress. Guys, Victory just said that it's whipping and, and there's progress, so that's good. That's a good sign. We might have something to bake after all. <laughs> oh my god, it's, no, it's not like milk, it's like thick glue. Like it's dripping off the whisk like thick glue now. My arm is gonna fall off, but it's worth it. I'm not giving up. I can't believe I whipped this better than the Super Dan Mixer. So stiff peaks means like if you lift it up and like you move it, it stays as like a little little peak, like a little mountain. I'm just sitting here, <laughs> relaxing. You're like whisking. It's, this is this is how I feel when I'm baking with you because I always end up doing the heavy lifting, and you're like, yeah, you know what? The rules have been reversed so, today. Exactly. Today I'm taking a break. I've just I've earned Ooh, it. I might pass out if I don't respond. I'm on the floor. Let, do you want me to sing you a song? Yeah. 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 Keep whisking. Keep going. Okay, I might be there, you know, because it's kind of heavy. You know, it's like kind of soft serve ice cream right now. Okay, that's good. So okay, so what you had the way you check. So if you put your whisk to the bottom of the bowl, like like just kind of like straight into the bowl. Yeah. And then you pull it up out of the, uh, out of the liquid. Yeah. Or out of the mixture, or whatever. Does the 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 bo mixture that stays in the bowl does it kind of come up to like a little point? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. That's what we're kind of aiming for. So we might be there. So should I yeah. mix a bit more? But but it's finally not dripping. Like I can lift my whisk and it stays on my whisk. It stays on my whisk. Yeah, okay. I think that's what we're looking for. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> you sound so excited. It's so funny. Our energy was so low like yeah. two minutes ago. Yeah. And then now it's like energy high, baby. Energy high. Like I was going to give up. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this anymore. Oh, I made it, guys. <laughs> Wow, we should have just hand mixed from the start. Who needs the freaking electronics? It's just when I put my thing to the bottom, like you said. See, I'm gonna yeah. close up. And I do the little peak. It, it kind of, mm -hmm. it makes a peak. It makes a little peak. So we're, I guess, done with that then. Right? It, camera, so, do you agree? Yeah, sure, why okay. not? So now use a spatula to scrape the meringue out of the bowl and then you put it onto the parchment paper 
it says into approximately a four inch circle but the main important part is that it's approximately an inch high but like kind of make the center lower because that's apparently where we're gonna put the curd in later now bold of you to assume i know how much one inch high means i can't help you with that <laughs> i'm making a little circle shape yeah unless you want to make a heart for me oh, i can try to make a heart do it it's Valentine's Day theme, baby. It's literally the end of April. Oh, did you right. did you put food coloring in? No. <laughs> this is the part where you cut back to me saying put the food coloring and the this cornstarch mixture in. So it says add add the cornstarch mix and food coloring. It's gonna be white. It's okay. That's fine. Now, how am I supposed to know it's Valentine's Day if it's not pink? The next step is very important. So it says. Okay. Transfer the baking sheet nice to the and oven creamy. and immediately yeah. reduce the heat to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? okay? In the oven. Okay. Reduce the heat. 220. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now it says Check. bake for one hour and 15 minutes. And now I need you to set some sort of timer because I know you don't okay. like to do this. So. No. Nope. <laughs> and then also do not open the oven at all okay. when cooking okay so until then we move on to the raspberry curd melt the butter in a small saucepan over medium low heat make sure it just like nicely melts like nice and calmly okay okay easy enough so prep one cup of raspberries half a cup of sugar five egg yolks some lemon one tablespoon of lemon juice okay. and then salt okay oh should i look at the butter well yeah you have to keep an eye on it Give a raspberry review victory. You're not bad. They're like, yeah. they're like not fully sweet as I like, but they're not sour enough that I hate them. I almost put the egg whites in the egg yolk full. Oh. oh my gosh. So put the raspberries and the sugar into the saucepan. Oh, and the sugar? Yeah. Okay. In. And then stir. And then throw in the egg yolks. Do you know how all day I've been putting things in too big of bowls? Yeah? I think I put a too small of saucepan. <sighs> Aren't they gonna scramble? No, you have to whisk it. Keep whisking. That's why it's on light heat. Should I be crushing the raspberries? Well, yeah. You want it all to combine. That's oh, the I definition of combine. <laughs> it says, so you want to you wanna see it until it thickens like pudding. Okay, I can, I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna be in shock the entire time that this was exactly what was going on. Yeah. Because I can't even stop you because it's like I don't see what you're doing until later you're like, oh, too small. Like, yeah. <laughs> so it's like as long it as it thick, thickens like pudding, I think we're fine. I think I'm getting more on the stove top than I am anything else. Yo, imagine if this turns out really good. Curd update. Getting thicker. Kind of looks like, um, expired cream. It looks really thick. It looks like, um, a Roxanne doesn't get my metaphors. It looks like, um, ground beef. <laughs> ground beef jam. I think I've compared the thickness of this curd to 20 different food items for Roxanne to try to understand what the thickness level of it is. <laughs> it's just not not working out it's not that i don't understand them it's that her metaphors don't help me in figuring out what her thing looks like what the curd looks like compared to what it should look like that's the problem yeah. i can imagine a, a a bean what was or sorry meat a beef pudding it's ground beef. is that what you called it a beef oh, curd or something a ground beef jam ground beef jam <laughs> i can imagine a ground beef jam now i don't know how i don't know if you or just imagining that in your head or if that's genuinely what it looks like. It looks like thick, um, thick oatmeal now. Okay, yikes. Or maybe, you know, it looks like those refried be beans. Okay. So, okay, so are you yeah, done with it or like, not? Is it done? I'm gonna make the call. I think the curd is done. So, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, so then strain it through the strainer. Oh yeah, it's very thick. It's not like liquid. It's like oatmeal. No, ap like thick applesauce. Like like a pie curd, like a pie filling. These are all so <laughs> different. Oh my gosh. It's so thick, it's not going through. Victory, you're it's so lucky that I wasn't filming when I literally told you that it's still supposed to be a liquid. It's still liquidy. Maybe there's just a lot of raspberries. Like, Maybe yeah. there's just a lot of seeds in the raspberries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going through with Yeah, with so force. just keep forcing it through. Should I add some no, water to it? Absolutely not. 
I think I've literally compared this to like every food out there. It kind of looks like um expired cream. It's like jam. Thick oatmeal on the ground beef. Yeah, sauce. Those refried bre beans. High filling. Ground beef jam. So I finished the raspberry curd. It tastes delish. You have to put in, um, you have to like zest half a lemon in and put it into the curd. Should I wash the lemon? Well, yeah. Yep. Just don't go really intense into the rind. Just put a little bit. That sounds like a lot. Oh. <laughs> okay, time for the chocolate covered strawberries. In the video, they say to melt the chocolate, they're just like, melt the chocolate, so you can probably just put it in the microwave. <laughs> oh, what is that? Are you sure someone didn't slip dark chocolate in here? It's burnt! You know what? Maybe we just go with the double, double boiler method to be safe. So bring the water to simmer first. Guys, I know that, I know that boil means bubbles. Okay, guys, Victory's just melting her chocolate. So we're just waiting for her. So Victory, you just have to melt the chocolate completely until it's melted with no chunks. Okay, so I put it over the bath. Oh, wow, instant, instant melt. It's good. Okay, so it says holding the strawberry bread stem, gently dip it in the melted chocolate about three quarters of the way up the berry. Oh! Guys, look how beautiful that is. Oh, focus. Focus on my strawberry. Cute! Okay. Ooh, professional. Okay, guys, I just dipped all my strawberries. They're looking pretty freaking good, like, guys. So those are ready, they're gonna cool. She's cooking. Check back in two hours when it's time to plate. What an experience this has been so far. I'm also gonna change my outfit, so I'll give you an outfit check of what I look like. Guys, I guess we'll see you when it's time to put it all together. We're plating. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna take the, the Pablo out now. Mm -hmm. Take her out. Is she looking good? I think so. Yeah. It looks like a meringue. So pavlova is a type of meringue, so it's a subset. Oh. Pavlovas are slightly crispier, ooh, and they're chewier. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's really light, it's like so light. Oh, this is so weird. I'm so excited to see it. Spoon the raspberry curd into the middle of the pavlova adding as much or little as you like. You you did win on the plating for yeah. cooked. So, yeah. I think it's in the books for you. And my dog wants to eat um the raspberry curd. I don't blame her. It's now it's like a it's like a jam, I would say. So I do like a thicker curd. Oh, like a lemon meringue pie curd victory? I think so. <sighs> That's fire. Wow, this looks this looks really legit. And do I put mm -hmm. a strawberry on okay. top? That's what they say. They're like kind of interlace tuck the chocolate strawberries into the curd and around the plate, but that sounds oh, around dumb. The plate. Yeah, because I'll put so. it around. My strawberries are also humongous. And then they say, like, if you want to add fresh raspberries to the top, you can. Uh, Roxanne, that's funny of you to assume that I didn't finish eating the whole thing of raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think I would ever have leftover raspberries. Okay, I think this looks pretty good, not gonna lie. It kind of looks like brie cheese. <laughs> I am excited to see. Oh, because it's white. Yeah. Not gonna lie, you might be proving to the folks why you unbaked with this one. That's my pa my pavlova raspberry curd chocolate dip strawberry made by yours truly and taught by Roxanne. <laughs> and made for yours truly. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to grab a lick of my pavlova. Yeah. We went through a whole journey, guys, honestly. Yeah. Shout out to Victory for dealing with this because I was on this end stressing. I don't know how she was on that end surviving. It's been a journey, but we're done now. And then the next shot, um, Roxanne's gonna see it and judge it. For the first time. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. Hey, guys. We're back in the kitchen. Metaphorically. Guys, I'm gonna see it. We're yeah. gonna get the big reveal. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, yeah. three, two, one. <laughs> okay, first of all, it actually doesn't look bad. You oh. pretty much matched it from the photo. 
So this is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, okay. So okay. yours is much, it's, much yeah. smaller. Um, I think it's a, ever so slightly higher. Yeah, I was gonna say it's thicker. Uh, the curd looks good. Yeah. It it looks really okay, good. I'm so excited. And then the chocolate strawberries actually, guys, forget forget YouTubing, podcasting. We're going into chocolate baking, strawberries. Yeah. We got guys. We got a pavlova here yeah. on the plate. Yeah. That's if it tastes, similar. if it tastes as look as, as good as it looks, I might give it a ten. Wow! Like comparison, okay, like execution yeah. of that. Yeah. Out of ten, compared an eight, just because yeah. you have food coloring and it's a little bit different size, but everything else is yeah on 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 the I ball. Think, is my curd too thick, or is it just I put too much of it? I need to be like, because her their hers look kind of more like liquidy. Yeah, that one was friend. liquidy, but I. Yeah. Point of view, you're on a date with me. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, it's like the same thing. You almost, I know, <laughs> she almost cut my fingers. <laughs> what are you doing? Like you're holding it stuck to you. It's broke the whole pavlova. Oh, we're gonna do the crunch, like the crunch oh, test. Yeah. Okay. You guys, we might be spending Valentine's Day <laughs> for the rest of our lives together with this. <laughs> every year we're gonna cook a pa pavlova. <laughs> you. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm gonna instruct you every year. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay. Okay. Are you he's, proud of him? He's crying. <laughs> he's crying right now, okay. Okay. Oh, you're tasting it? It's not bad. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god, okay. Oh, it's- and it is chewy on the inside. Okay. Are okay. you ready? Okay. Oh it's good. This did turn into a meringue more than a pavlova. That's okay. Mm hmm I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna rest Don't you. Don't twist, don't twist. The curd is good. Right? It's good, guys. Right? I, I would think that you bought this. There's some parts that are still chewy. Mm, yeah, See, I know. Th this is, in fact, a pavlova. That's good. But this curd? curd it's right. That's money. I'm going to sell it, guys. If you guys <laughs> want your own jar, let us know. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I made this. Which, of course, Rock's going to sell, but. Heck, um, you, you essentially did it on your own. I'm, I'm so I'm proud of her. Them. Yeah, I'm proud of me, too. I'm proud of us. Strawberry check. Yep. Let's, do it. Let's go take one to the, to the camera. Okay, the so crunch wasn't there, <laughs> but it's because they're not cold. I should have put them in the fridge. They came back to when we we had to melt chocolate, like when we were doing it for me. It's because when we were together, together it's with we two, two well. of us alone made two disastrous desserts. <laughs> but together we make beautiful desserts. This is good. Sure, mm -hmm. does this maybe take us like eight hours? <laughs> Dark out. <laughs> We started filming at like two. It's 8.44. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be an hour. Granted, the whole whipping incident Fiasco. took about an hour yeah. and a half, and then we had technical issues for another hour, but it was still longer than expected. But yeah. hey, now we know. But it was funner than expected. Exactly. What I can I say? I must prove that even though some we went through ups and downs, <laughs> our core communication skills and friendship and bond is there to persevere through the end. Exactly. And get it. it makes up for it for yeah. what we lack in technique. Yeah. <laughs> we have in heart. Gordon Ramsay, if you're watching this, let us know what you thought of our Pavlova. <laughs> so Gordon Ramsay. I don't <laughs> that was that was fun. It was a journey. But fun. fun. Let us know if you like. Let us know if you want to do something. If you want us to do this again, mm -hmm. but maybe with this different, different maybe a, di maybe a food, maybe a, meal? a different dessert, maybe real food, an entree, entree, entree? or an app, an app, app <laughs> or maybe know. make me cook next time. Exactly. So world reverse. Let us know. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And with that, <laughs> thanks, thanks for stopping by. Holy fucking shit, that came from you? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm recording this, this half the rest. I'm looking the knife. Why is this good? If you weren't my sister, I would give it a, like, seven for your first time. A seven down. That just shows you how up. tight you guys are. Exactly. Thank you.